Hello, it's Monica from EDAC. Today I will show you how to create a building in SketchUp. I will make windows, doors, walls, floors, according to plan. Remember that first steps right are important in creating easy to edit and fun to use model. To import the plan in SketchUp, click File, Import, and choose JPEG plan file. Click once in the center, drag the cursor to the right side and click second time. The plan we brought in isn't scaled correctly. Let's check it out. I use the tape measure tool and the wall length is not correct. We need to fix it in the beginning. I will show you why it's important. First, let's create a 20 by 20 centimeters rectangle. Then let's go to the plan. To scale it, I adjust the view. I can either click on the top view icon or go to the camera, standard views, top. After that, I click on the camera tab and select parallel projection. Thanks to it, the scaling will be very precise. I use the tape measure tool to check the wall length. I click once and the second time. Let's see that it's not 415. I type 415 and press enter. Click yes and it's fixed. I recheck the wall length. It's correct. Let's look at the square that we created before. We can notice that its dimensions have changed too. Remember, always scale the plan first to avoid resizing other objects in the scene. If you must scale the plan later with other objects present, do it in a new separate file. Once the plan is scaled, you can then copy it and paste it to the model. Now let's keep things organized with tags. I go to the tags window, create a new tag and rename it to plan. Then I click on the plan and assign it to the plan layer. It's done. Time to start creating the walls. I will show you some techniques beginning with the line tool. Remember, if your plan is in JPEG or a PDF file, don't rely on it alone. The plan helps, but accurate measurements are crucial for precise model. I begin drawing. Using the line tool, I click in the corner. Then I move the line to the left along the green axis. Type 150, press enter. Move again, type 390, press enter. Finally, type 90. To stop drawing, hit the spacebar. Then I can start drawing again. Click on the line tool and draw in a different direction following the red axis. Move the line to the right and type 800. I keep drawing to outline the plan, including window and door openings. Let's see that a plane appears. Now use the offset tool to set the wall thickness. I click on the offset tool, then click on the plane and move it to the center. Since the external wall thickness is 25 centimeters, I type 25 and press enter. Next, I select the plane in the center and press delete. Now for a wall over here, I draw a rectangle. Using a tape measure tool, I set 395 centimeter distance. Now it's much easier to draw a 60 by 35 rectangle. Again, I delete plane in the center and I delete unnecessary line. It's time to draw lines at the marked endpoints for windows and doors. Now you can see where the walls, doors and windows are. With the push-pull tool, I will extend the walls to the height of 270 cm. Click on the tool, select the rectangle and move it up typing 270, then press enter. I will do this again with the second wall. For the other wall, to speed it up, double click on the plane and then push-pull tool command will be repeated automatically. For the door and window openings, I need them at the height of 205. With the push-pull tool, I click on the plane, extend it to 205 and press enter. Then to match the wall height, use push-pull tool again. To divide this wall, press left control key. 
Pressing left control allows you to choose whether to divide the object into two parts or not. Let's repeat the process for the door opening. Use the push-pull tool, extend it to a height of 205. Adjust it to match the window opening height by hovering over the window openings. This is quicker and easier than typing 205 each time. Then expand it again to match the wall height. For the window here, I extend it to 90 cm, then to 205, and finally to the height of wall. It's time to create the actual openings. Hit the space bar and then choose push-pull tool. Select the plane and move it inside to the inner edge. That's it. If it doesn't work for the first time, press space bar again and try once more. All the openings are done. Next, delete unnecessary edges and reverse back faces. It's done. Group the external walls by clicking on them three times and creating a group. After that, make a new tag called external walls and assign it to the group. Moving on to the internal walls, this time I will use rectangle tool to create them. I choose rectangle tool, click here in the corner and draw it with dimensions 50 by 12 centimeters. I type 50, 12 and press enter. Then I draw a second rectangle, 90 by 12. Following the dimensions, I draw more rectangles in different directions for all internal walls. Use tape measure tool to set distances if it's necessary. Now let's delete unnecessary edges and use the push-pull tool. Click on the plane and extend it to 290. Repeat this step by double-clicking on the plane or using the push-pull tool several times. Moving on to door openings, click on the plane, extend this to a height of 205 and then to the height of the wall. Remember to use left control to divide the opening. That's it. Let's delete unnecessary edges. Hit the space bar and then choose push-pull tool. Select the plane and move it inside to the inner edge. That's it. If it doesn't work for the first time, press spacebar again and try once more. Create a group by clicking three times, then make a group. Create a new tag, rename it to internal walls and assign the selection to a new tag. It's time to place the doors in the model. I place door in the file and then create a new door layer and assign selection to a new tag. Let's place door to the opening. To do it more precisely and easier, I turn off the plan layer. It's a good idea to place doors using the view from the bottom. It fits perfectly. I copy this door to the next opening and we can notice that we need to change dimensions of the door. The best idea to do this is to double-click to open the group. Double-click again to open all the groups and by selecting from left to right, select a part of door frame only. Then use Move tool to move selection to the left side by 10 cm. I will do the same with the door. I double-click to open a group, then select left to right and move it to the left by 10 cm. Remember to move the door handle also. I copy door again. Using flip tool, you can mirror the selection in any direction. It's done. Let's work on the windows. Drag the window from the folder to the SketchUp file, then create a window tag and assign the selected object to it. Move the window, rotate it and place in the window opening. For an easier workflow, go to View tab, select Face Style and turn on X-Ray to see elements through walls. Adjust its size by double-clicking, opening the group, selecting from left to right and moving down. Repeat as needed to get the window perfectly adjusted. Select elements from left to right and move them to the right side. Make sure that the group is open. Now focus on the small opening. Copy the window, 
remove unnecessary parts and carefully position it in the small window opening. Use X-ray face style. Open the group, select elements from left to right and move the frame to align with the wall opening. And don't forget about the window handle. When it's done, create glazing by making a rectangle. Using the push-pull tool, add the thickness. Create a group by double-clicking and making a group. Go to Materials and apply the material to selection. Do the same with the small window. It's fine. Then assign glazing to the window stack. At the end, let's create floors. Use the rectangle tool to make the first and second rectangles. Delete the line between them. Add 15 cm thickness with the push-pull tool, double-click and make group. Create a new floor tag and assign the selection to it. Copy the floor. Choose a Move tool, press left Ctrl and it's done. We've modeled walls, floors, windows and doors. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org. You will find there are many V-Ray for SketchUp courses, free assets, articles, and more. See you there. Bye.